Hello, I'm Jane Dutton. What a record-breaking couple of days. First South Africa's Drikas Duplessis becomes the UFC middleweight champion. And now Novak Djokovic has become a semi-finalist for the 11th time. That's a first in tennis history. Other winners today will be those making the cut for the upcoming Oscar awards. We'll tell you who they are. But first this, a bombshell revelation about the Marshalltown fire. This is Eyewitness News. A witness in the commission of inquiry into the fire that killed 77 people has admitted under oath to setting the Usandiso building on fire. The witness told the panel that the fire flared when he set a body alight on the 31st of August last year, one that he'd strangled to death on the night of the fatal blaze. The witness said he was high on crystal meth, which he got from a drug lord who he referred to as the big boss in the building. These revelations were made during an in-camera sitting, meaning we cannot name him. But his statement cannot be used against him or any other witness in court or during the South African Police Service's investigations into the fatal blaze. Remember to download our new EWN app, which is found in all app stores. Get it for immediate updates and alerts on all our stories. You could be filling your car with watered-down diesel. That's been mixed with illuminating paraffin and not even paying less for it. An investigation by the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy has found that more than 70 filling stations across the country are guilty of this. During the period April to December last year, we found that 70 service stations were selling diesel that seemed to be contaminated with illuminating paraffin. So, isolated, he didn't even know about COVID. South African paramedic Gurko van der Fenter says he spent the first month after his kidnapping in Libya locked up inside a room along with two of his captors. A lot of the people that kept me were young guys and they started to freak out when there was uh, drones patrolling the skies above me. And when they started shooting, Obviously, you stay calm and you don't move and you take cover where you can. But I was chained to a tree. So I, w I was literally with a chain around my legs onto a tree. I can't move. And uh, they fired six or seven bullets to my head. And the next one was through my arm. And they left me just there. I had to treat myself. The 48-year-old was released in December after being kidnapped in 2017. He was sold to militants in Mali a year later, making him the longest-held South African hostage in captivity. Western Cape Police have arrested three alleged child online sexual predators. This brings to seven the number of suspects arrested for distributing child pornography since November last year. A 53-year-old man from Worcester was found with 95,000 images and 6,000 videos of child pornography. The second suspect, a 40-year-old man, was arrested in Cryfontein with more than 149,000 images. And a 32-year-old man from Mitchell's Plain was handcuffed for underage girls on a chat group where nude pictures were exchanged. With South Africa's historic matric pass, we have a problem. There are too many students for our universities. He also addressed the issue of students not receiving their NISFAS funding. I have noted with concern that the main reason for the outstanding payments was due to reconciliations that NESFAS has been engaged with institutions, predominantly because of registration data cha cha changes. Poor Things, Killers of the Moon and Oppenheimer all scored multiple Oscar nominations. Oppenheimer received the most with 13, Best Actress between Emma Stone and Lily Gladstone the first Native American to be nominated. Some of the best actors, Bradley Cooper and Coleman Domingo, the second openly gay man to be nominated for playing a gay character. The 96th Academy Awards will be held on March the 10th. That's it for me. See you for more again tomorrow. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.